Alrighty, it's me again. Um, getting ready to mow this down where the raspberry patch is going to be. Got the old trusty 40 volt K balled out. It does pretty good. I guess we'll test it. This, is, this grass is pretty high down here, so we'll test it out, see how good it is. I'm going to do about a 50 foot by, I don't know, 50 foot by 20 foot area. I'm going to try to mow and then mow it. I'm going to mow it just right now. I got it set as high as it'll cut. I'm going to do it that way then i'm gonna go over and do it again low probably medium height um i'll probably mow it two or three times and break it out i don't know if i really i don't really want to wreck it out. i like to let the organic matter lay there but there's a lot of weed seeds but also i'm going to put cardboard or paper or something down before i put compost on top so it should work out pretty good but i'm going to get started on i don't know how much i'll get done it's i got a couple hours for dark so i should I should get mowing done tonight, but I probably won't get a whole lot much more done. But the weather is nice. It's actually six, mid 60s today. And yesterday it was like 35. So tomorrow is supposed to be warm too, but rainy. So I want to get the mowing done tonight so I can get this done. And maybe tomorrow night I'll haul some compost or something either, either over there in the big garden or over here, over here where the raspberries are going to go. So I don't know where I'll haul compost, but that'll be tomorrow. Um, it'll probably be part of the same video too. Right now, I'm gonna just mow. All righty, as you saw, the little 40 volt K bolt did a pretty good job. I'm very, very impressed with how good of a job that does. I um, have a big enough swath mode, probably more than what I need, but I'm gonna let it big like that for now. I'm gonna lower the mower down and um, lower it down about halfway. It's like you would mow your grass with, probably halfway down and uh, mow over it again. After I do that, I may rake it out I'm not real sure. I may put the bagger on and bag it up. Just dump it in a pile somewhere and then scape, sc scatter it back down. So I got all that organic matter down there. Um, but the mower may clog if I go lower than halfway. But it may not. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out together. Um, I'm going to lower it about halfway. Actually on these mowers too. These mowers actually only have one handle on them. This right here lowers the whole, the whole, all four wheels lower together. Right there. That's how easy it is to lower them down. They work great. I, I'm quite impressed with how good of a job it did. But anyhow, so I'm going to uh, mow it again with it set where it is. And then we'll revisit after we get that done. Alrighty. So today's Friday. Um, the other night, Wednesday. Of course, you'll see it here just earlier. What you've seen earlier actually happened on Wednesday. Today's Friday. We're going to remove, remove this patch down. So I decided I'm not going to put the berries in that spot. I'm going to move them over here, closer to the garden area. Um, which makes sense. I'm just going to put them. Right there's a little trailer. Here's my mower. There's the uh, asparagus patch that you had seen me put in few weeks ago so i'm gonna put i'm gonna put the berries in right here so i probably put a mower width or two wide between the asparagus and where the raspberries and that'll go so um i'm gonna mow here which won't take much i'll just get a mow i don't know probably four or five swipes down along that way yeah then i'm uh, I don't have enough cardboard. I don't have enough cardboard to put down. So at this point in time, after I get it all mowed as low as I can mow it, I'm going to, then I will um, just get some of that ground cover like I got in the garden. Some of that black woven, woven ground cover. I got, I got a fair bit of that left. I'll probably put like a 12, probably at least one, maybe two 12 footers, maybe a 12 and a six. I'm not sure, but yeah enough to kind of snuff out the grass but yeah so that's where i'm at so 
At least I got it all mowed down over there. Not that I needed to, but it's done. So it is what it is at this point in time. So, alrighty. So I got all the mowing done, and I'm going to get done. I uh, need to rake it. <clears throat> Grass is pretty high in there. I don't know. I really don't want to rake it, but I probably will. Um, the reason I say that is because I like the organic matter to stay where it is and just draw it up where it lays. So I may try to level it out or may not even worry about it. But I'm going to, uh, it's getting dark out right now. I don't know what time it is. It's probably five. It's ridiculous. It's only five o'clock and it's dark. Um, I'm going to run up to the building, to the shed, and grab the uh, roll of, roll of ground cover and put down so i don't know if I, I probably won't get it down tonight i'll probably just bring it down here and then in the morning i'll come down when it gets daylight and put it down um but i'll get it my stakes and i'll bring you along for that too so today, today we had our gap meeting so we uh got that taken care of for this this year well for 2022 season we um we sell produce at a produce auction some and um you gotta be gap certified so today they had a thing at our local fire hall for that so we got it good for another year, um, which is pretty pretty good glass. It just sits sits through a it's from from eight to three, so however long that is, um, six hours, seven hours, <laughs> seven hours. Um, and they supply lunch too, so you can't really get wrong, right? So you, you should, if you're going to sell produce, you should at least look into Gap. You don't got to be Gap certified. A lot of times we do it just because we want to sell at the produce auction. And um, the farmer's market we go to don't, don't require that, but the produce auction does. So um, something to look into if you want to get into this kind of stuff. So think about it. Um, so just a real quick update um, before I go in for the evening since it's dark out. It doesn't look dark in the camera, but it's trust me, it's dark out. Um, the ground cover, this is what it looks like. This roll right here, this roll here is actually 12 foot wide. It's folded in half. Two layers. Um, tomorrow, when I put it down, I'll show you how we cut it. Keep it from fraying. I use a torch. Alrighty, I uh, getting ready to put the stakes in. That's what they look like. I think they're eight-inch stakes. You can get shorter ones. These ones here I bought. Um, I can't remember where at exactly. Um, I bought them local though. I didn't order them. So uh, just use these to put this in the ground with. Back a little bit. There you go. They just use these to put these in the ground. A lot of times you hit a rock. Sometimes you can push them in with your hand, but so you do that, and then you just unroll this. It's doubled, like I showed you earlier. Um, I'll just unroll this, and then I'll put another one. I'll stretch it tight, and I'll put another one on this side. So I'll show you that here. Alrighty, I got all that unrolled. I'm gonna get down there and burn it, unfold it, and then um, <clears throat> staple it down good. This will come back up in the spring, so I won't. Uh, it won't stay down. But how I cut it to keep it from to keep it from going all over the place is um, level that leg up a little bit. I, uh, sorry for adjusting it. I'll just take a torch. Just take this torch and burn it. It keeps it from falling apart. This bottle or this this here don't shut off, so I, it stays turned on. So I just unscrew it. That's all there is to it to cutting it, and then it melts it so it doesn't fray. The stuff's woven, so it it would fray. It would fray pretty bad if you uh, 
it didn't burn it like that so i always burn it that way i don't gotta worry about it so now i'm just gonna unfold it and um staple it down good It's pretty simple. I'm just going to uh, stretch it tight, go through, and um, staple it down. I'm going to staple it down as good as I would, as good as I would if I was going to let it in the garden. Because it's like I say, this is coming up in the spring. I'm just sure late winter, maybe even. I'm not sure exactly when, but um, but it's 12 foot wide. It's pretty wide. <clears throat> so I'm just doing this so I can keep the grass killed. Hopefully it keeps it peeled back. Well, I'm crooked too. Look how crooked I mowed that yesterday when I mowed last evening. Huh, looks kind of weird. Oh well, my OCD will have to let it alone. But anyways, I want to staple this down good. Stretch it tight. Staple it down so the wind can't pick it up and blow it away. Um, I'll zoom through it and then I'll get back to you here in a second. Alrighty, so I got it all laid out. I got it right next to the asparagus patch. Um, just probably just a little over one wheelbarrow or lawnmower width wide. So that's just there to uh, try to help kill the grass back because I don't have enough. I don't have enough uh, cardboard to lay down. Um, I'm planning on the patch of raspberries being 10 foot wide, which that's 12. So. Um, 10 foot wide and 50 ish foot long that's pretty much what i got laid out right there so there'll be a fair many raspberries in there i'm not sure exactly how many i have that i want to put in but that's what will be there i'll take you around back and show you the raspberries okay this is the raspberry patch that we have right now with all these canes each one of these canes i'll i'll separate them into roots um there's probably there's probably a hundred 50 to 200 individual canes here and by cane i mean here, let me show you make it closer right there there's two of them uh, right there you can see them two there are two separate they're one plant coming out of the same root but I, when i dig them up and propagate them down below i'll separate these at the base so each one of them will be one plant and there's a fair many in there if you go back and look at the video where i pruned them that was a tuesday video tuesday tip of the week video i did well probably in august or something i'll put a link to it below um i'm showing you how i how i pruned them back after they but next this probably early spring late winter before they come out of dormancy, I'll dig them all up, all these up, and put them down there. But first, I will uh, take that ground cover off because I don't want the ground cover on. When I, I don't want it there when the plants grow in. So um, that's what that's where I'm going to put them. The raspberries. And then I got got six blueberry plants back here. I'm probably going to dig these up too. Hopefully, I can dig them up. They're pretty big. That camera don't really show it justice, but I want them out of back here too and put them down below. Um, the reason is it's steep. As you can see right there's the house. I'm pretty close to it. And it's under me. And you can see how quick it moves. And I only took three or four steps. So now I'm looking above it. You can see the windmills. And, well, you can't see them in the camera. All the way in the background is a bunch of windmills. But um, So yeah, I'm going to dig the blueberries up. And I'm going to dig up the raspberries. There's blackberries over here too. But I don't think I'm going to... I don't think I'm going to dig them up. I'm not a, I'll probably let them here. I'll probably let the blackberries over here. Um, and I got some asparagus growing up there in that green. So I, I'll probably, I might dig it up. I'm not sure. But that's where we are with all that stuff. So um, this is where the raspberries are coming from. They're coming from right here. And next year, next year after they uh, 
after, I don't know if these will fruit after digging them up. We may not get any raspberries at all next season. But uh, after after they should fruit, these canes here will die back, like I showed you in that other video. These will die back, and um, then then I'll have I'll have twice this many again come up. So I'll probably separate them out. And hopefully get another hundred plants. So hopefully by th this time next year I'll have three or four hundred raspberry plants down there. And uh, so then the following year, 2020 three season hopefully i'll have a u pick down there um i don't know that it'll happen that quick or not it may take a little longer to, it may take a little longer than that to get everything done need done but i hope i hope to have it in 2023 if not then it'll be 2024 but um just have to keep watching and find out so raspberries are usually we're usually eating raspberries in uh late july mid to late july through august so yeah so next september ish i should be able to propagate more this many more plants and put down there in that so anyhow keep following along and uh, learn how i learn how we do it so until we meet again take care and god bless